Hey, hey, what's up? I just want to make a quick video because I'm trying to export my game from Godot um, into Windows or into a Windows EXE and I'm having problems with the icon and getting the icon to be a custom icon. So I messed around with it a lot and I eventually got it to work. Now it's a little bit of a process so I think it's useful to make a video about this. So first of all, I went to YouTube and I found this video, which is actually really good. <clears throat> and it covers most of the process, except for the little hiccup I had at the end. And um, basically you need to make an icon the right way. And then you need to add uh, this RC edit program. Now that's in the um, Godot documents. So you need to add this RC edit to Godot, or you need to add a reference to Godot. You need to um, install it. So you just go to the GitHub, download the exe, and then oh, sorry, I went ahead and put it in the Godot folder, and here's the RC edit, and then you need to reference that in the Godot engine. So in Godot, it's under Editor, Editor Settings, Window, and then RC Edit. And this is the reference to that. So you have to have that. And the next thing to do is have a proper uh, ICO file, icon file. And I had problems with that. But um, you can make one in GIMP. So this is basically the ICO file. It's a, it's a uh, graphic file with basically a bunch of different resolutions on different layers. And I don't think you need to worry about the actual naming of the layers because when you export, you, you pick them. But you do need to scale them properly. So what I, would, what I did was I started with the um, 512 by 512 and then uh, duplicate the layer and then, then you can go to layer, uh, scale layer. And then this is scaled down to 256. This is scaled down to 128, 64. And then you have to have 48 also. It's pretty important, it seems like. Um, I have the 32, 16, and the 8. <clears throat> and then you can do a file uh, export save as no you do it file export as file export as and then you can select file type by extension and then it's under Microsoft Windows icon and then when you uh, when you export here I'll, I'll name it something else so I don't write over my last one um, when you export it, you have all these uh, options. Just include everything. And I don't know if it matters, but you know, I just just set it to uh, set it to that. So then you export it, and then you're going to end up with an ICO file, which is your your Windows icon file. Once you have that, you need to reference that in your Godot project. So under project, project settings, um, under config, Windows native icon, and then here it is right here. And then also when you export it, you need to reference it here in this icon slot right there. So then you go ahead and you export. So um, I was having problems with it earlier, and I'll show you what it what it looked like. This was the initial um, thing I had, and it looks blurry. And in certain views, it it, it defaults to the uh, the original Godot icon. So after playing with it for a while and actually I'm not sure uh, what icon file I was using that made this 
I, I messed around with a bunch of icon files. I used online converters and used plugins, and that may have been why it came out blurry like that. So I went ahead and made this file to do like a test of uh, Windows icons in the in the scale scaling. And this is based off of that YouTube video. So uh, I basically made um, an icon that just has the numbers for each different size on there. And then export it the same way I did before. And I um, put that into the icon slots for Godot. Now here's the big thing that made a difference. Um, I made a new folder. Like before I just keep building into this build folder and then deleting the files and rebuilding. There's something to do with the the icon cache that doesn't update for some reason. And building it to a brand new folder somehow fixes that. And I'll show you um there is a what's this a GitHub post about that. And he talks about uh somewhere in here. I'll put a link in the in the comments or in the description that he just uh, uh made a new folder. So anyways, so here we finally got to execute, or we finally got to export, and if we look at this, um, you'll notice that it's pretty much just what's the 512, the 48, and the 128, but it's working. There's no uh, Godot icon. So eventually... I was able to export. Oh yeah, see, here's a, is it getting there? I think with this, this version, I just did a 512 version of the icon. I didn't do the smaller sizes. So the smaller sizes got replaced with the, uh, the normal Godot default icon. So eventually I made the fourth build and it finally works. So it's got my, uh, my icon and it works in all the different sizes. And the only thing really uh, that I did was after I set up the icon properly, I have the uh, RC edit. Um, I have all the proper references in Godot. And then I just made sure I uh, exported it to a brand new folder. So hopefully that helps you. It was it was such a weird thing to figure out, but now that it's figured out, hopefully it should go easier in the future. So hope this helps and uh, good luck programming and making games. Take care.